Let's get into this uh, conversation about uh, the, the relationship to the sport in, in New York State. Uh, to, to give us the background on, on this. Me first? I think you know it better than anybody. Well, so. um, I, I won't pretend to be uh, an expert. I'm just a guy who covers the sport of MMA and I love it. And um, I, I, as I just mentioned, one of the reasons why I love it so much is because of the athletes and, and how unique they are. Unfortunately, uh, the sport of MMA is illegal in New York State. And uh, there are currently 48 states uh, in the United States that have athletic commissions. Of the 48 that have athletic commissions, uh, 45 have legalized MMA. There are three left, New York, Vermont, and Connecticut. And the UFC, which is, um, for lack of a better comparison, the NFL to MMA's football, they are the, the, the major leagues, so to speak. They're the ones who are going out on the front lines and they're the ones who are trying to get the sport legalized all across this country, all across North America, all across the world. And uh, they are very confident that they'll, they'll get it done in Connecticut and Vermont. They've done a fantastic job over the last 10 years. The parent company of the UFC is Zufa. Uh, it's owned by the Fertitta brothers, Lorenzo and Frank Fertitta. They own 41% uh, of it, 9% is owned by Dana White, who is a, a guy, if you're not a huge MMA fan, you've probably heard or, or seen. And uh, the other 10% is owned by a group out of uh, Abu Dhabi called Flash Entertainment. So since they bought the organization in, uh, in 2001, they've gone out and uh, have done a lot of work trying to get the sport legalized. The sport was banned in New York in 1997, and it was uh, a much different sport back then. Um, certainly not as mainstream as it is now, but just a, just a lot more raw, let's just put it that way. And um, if you're wondering why the sport, and as all of us who cover the sport uh, have been wondering for years, if you're wondering why the sport hasn't been legalized here, it's a lot deeper than just there are people in Albany who think it's, uh, it's barbaric and it's not you know, worthy of, of, of you know, being conducted here in the state of New York. And I should preface this story um, by saying that only one side of the story really wants to talk about it, the other side doesn't. And, and basically, uh, the, the Fertitta brothers, as I mentioned, uh, who are the majority owners of the UFC, they, are, um, they, they, are, they come from, obviously, Nevada, and they own a, a, a chain of casinos called the, the Station Casinos. And uh, they are one of the largest non-union casinos in, in the United States, and they've been battling with the Culinary Union over in Nevada, uh, for several years uh, because the Culinary Union wants to uh, get them to unionize their casinos and uh, for various uh, reasons they don't want to do that. So uh, as some of you may know, New York being a very uh, very strong union state, uh, the, the Culinary Union, um, their parent company is this group called Unite Here and they've been lobbying against um, mixed martial arts in New York State for several years. There are only two groups lobbying on behalf of MMA in New York State. One group is uh, you know, uh, hired by the UFC, the other hired by this this union, Unite Here, the parent company of the Culinary Union, and, and basically their motives aren't really, if you talk to them, and none of them want to go on the record, but I've talked to them off the record, if you talk to them, it really has nothing to do with the sport of MMA. They'll tell you things about, you know, the UFC doesn't treat their fighters fairly, and and uh, you know they're, 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 they're a monopoly, they'll say things like that, but really what it comes down to is their, their personal beef with the Fertitta brothers, and now they've they've really made their intentions very clear. They just uh, they just opened a website. They launched a website um, recently, you know, just plainly attacking Dana White, saying that he's a homophobe, saying that you know he doesn't treat his fighters fairly, that he doesn't speak well, that he uses too many cuss words, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And basically, it's it's a beef between them and the UFC, and it's unfortunate because this is a sport. The UFC is just one league. Yes, they are the dominant league. And if uh, the sport did get legalized here in New York State, it would uh, benefit the UFC most. But uh, really, uh, if you want to break it down, the reason why MMA is not legal in New York State is it has nothing to do with the sport of MMA. Everyone is fine with it, so to speak. Um, they're just not letting it happen. And it passed the Senate. It, it had a vote of 42 to 18 this past year in May in favor of MMA. And uh, Sheldon Silver uh, is uh, obviously a very powerful man here in New York State. He won't even let it come to uh, the assembly floor for a vote because of uh, his strong ties to unions. And I should again preface that all this by saying none of these people want to talk about it, but this is what we've been uh, presented with. So it's unfortunate, I think it will happen eventually, but uh, it's a very political situation and it really has nothing to do with uh, these guys and what they do inside cages.